just want to present today uh, a little bit about Cloud Foundry, Kubernetes, and how SUSE brings them together uh, under the, the subtitle of Symbiosis. I'm Jeff Hobbs, Director of Engineering for our Cloud Application Platform. So it's actually got me thinking about what is you know symbiosis? It, it actually means many things, and Chip actually kind of referred to uh, it earlier. Well, this is actually symbiosis. Um, th this is parasitism. There's there's many versions. So here you have everyone knows and loves mosquitoes, right? Um, where where you're actually getting no advantage. One gets advantage, and the other generally gets harmed. Um, there's also uh, commensalism. This is our you know, Romaro's on a shark. And uh, this is sort of mutual benefit that doesn't actually harm one or the other. But I think the thing that we really want to be seeking when we talk symbiosis with other communities is mutualism. Um, and of course, the perfect example is, is butterflies or honeybees and, and flowers, where they get to feed and the flowers get to, to spread. Um, and, you know, there's a lot about the code and, and the community that we want to keep spreading. And it's very important that we have the butterflies that can actually go from meadow to meadow and take their experience between these different areas and share that around. Um, and, and that's an aspect of, of what we do at SUSE. So uh, SUSE and open source could take a very long time to cover. I'll, I'll just give you one point here. It's our open source policy. Now, it's funny because it, we only recently published it, but SUSE has been around since before open source was a coined term. And it's always been an open company. And it is very much an open company. There are no repositories that I work on at SUSE that are private. Um, the only one that we do have actually relates to like internal systems, and I don't want you to have any of my credentials, thank you very much. Uh, but everything we do is open source. And we do it in so many communities uh, that we like to try and move ideas around, like the butterfly. One of those is CF containerization. Uh, this, this was uh, incubated earlier this year, and uh, all of the stuff I'm talking about, I, I come last after all our great SUSE talks, so I'm really summarizing. Hopefully you were able to see many of these other ones. This is basically, as we referred, Fissile and Configin, but it converts Bosch release into containers and Helm charts. Um, you'll, you'll find that this is what's enabling us to make Cloud Foundry run natively on Kubernetes. Uh, and you'll find the, the repos there open for you to play with, or on Cloud Foundry Slack channel, please come and chat with the engineers. The other is Irene now. We actually uh, are, are not the main proponents of Irene, that's IBM, not to steal their thunder, but in the spirit of mutualism, uh, one of the things that a lot of people are interested in Irene, which is now being able to replace Diego with Kubernetes native scheduling, it fits perfectly with the previous uh, project. And so we've done some work at this GitHub page. You can play with Irene right now in GKE, and it's a setup, it's a cheap environment. The last one is Stratos, uh, there was just a Great demo, I hope it was recorded um, earlier. It does everything. Um, it also happens to be including metrics and Kubernetes level introspection uh, in its uh, soon to be forthcoming release. So uh, there was a great talk on this earlier, so I'm just gonna go through a few shots. And this last one, you're seeing some of the Kubernetes plugins uh, amongst the other plugins that are being developed in Stratos. Again, all open source um, in terms of uh, Stratos, you know, being used by IBM in there in their Cloud Foundry Enterprise environment, that CFEE, -E, which I believe is pronounced Kafifi. Um, and there is further project participation. So we have developers upstream in various groups, and we make SUSE Linux available as a stem and stack cell alternative. So alluding back to uh, Chipstock this morning, you know, this is one of the pieces we have in our marketing, but this is really about building bridges, and we're doing a lot of the work between Kubernetes and Cloud Foundry communities to try and make these work well together. In the end, that leaves you with the cloud application platform. Uh, give it a try. You'll find it at SUSE's GitHub repository, and it's something that you can easily run as well uh, on any Kubernetes environment. Thank you.